Now we are hiking to the Red Rock Canyon. We're gonna go upstairs, have some good view, and then go back home. You eat <laughs> Kit Kats when you hike? <laughs> well, I eat everything. I don't care about it. <laughs> Heavyweight fighter is the best job in the world. Just eat and fight it. The guy loves to be in touch with the nature. My hometown is like this, with more grass, but the mountain like this. I used to to hike, to walk over there. <laughs> this is my limit. It is too high, I don't like the high. I just want to sit down. I grew up in the nature. <laughs> but to have a nice view, you need to climb. So more you climb, more you have, you have a nice view. You know, there are somewhere there you can't stay by yourself. Like, nobody around, you don't see nobody. You're the whole world for you. Relax. You know, I get into this sport like four years ago. I started MMA just as a fun. Overeem is very smart. He's a, like one of the best strikers in the heavyweight division. So, we just work smartly, work some game plan. Yes, this is the last minute work. Yeah, the sharpening is not about developing any ability of strength or speed or stamina. I have everything already. We just stabilize and then make things sharp, make sure that they need everything and put everything together. Francis is a big guy, strong guy. You know, it's uh, very important uh, the weight training for his fight. We, uh, we did the research on him. Yeah, we specialized as, as in, uh, in the athlete development program. Hey, getting the heavyweight is easy, but staying heavyweight. <laughs> I know, right? All the, 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 the cardio, the cardio. Just can't let these big motherfuckers land. Okay. Letting them these big guys land, that's it, fight's over. Well, weight training, overall fitness, uh, weaknesses in the body. You know, injury prevention, those are all factors that are really important. You gotta stay fit, you gotta keep the, the vehicle running. So, and of course, upgrade the vehicle a little bit, more strength, more power, more cardio. So that's why we do the strength conditioning. You know, the heavyweight division in UFC is tough. Everybody can throw that bomb. So the neck in particular has to be strong. And you know, again, UFC, everybody's dangerous. Everybody's good everywhere. Uh, wrestling, takedowns, the submissions, uh, striking. Uh, everybody's tough, everybody has a plan to win. I'm 100% focused. December 2nd, I will get my third consecutive win, and I will deserve my new title shot. So tomorrow, heading to New York for some uh, promotion in the lead up to the fight, and then uh, Tuesday we'll be heading into Detroit. So final uh, lunch before heading out to fight week. It's been a great camp. I like to have everybody here together. Good vibes, good energy. I mean, we kind of busy. We were each other's brothers for the last. Uh, five weeks and the journey has been going on for long. We're going to celebrate the end of camp, celebrate the hard work, and uh, on for the victory. Então, o último treino ali de saco, né? a gente já estava na reta final já, mas pode ter certeza que a gente está muito bem treinado, muito forte, focando já, visualizando já a vitória, o treinamento foi ótimo, então a gente procura blindar um pouco isso para vocês só verem na hora. Quando houve essa mudança do cinturão que caiu no colo novamente, isso deu uma motivação extra nele, não tem a pressão mais agora de defender esse cinturão, a gente está sentindo ele muito motivado, sentindo aquele José Aldo do Eck de novo, com aquela agressividade, aquela vontade de ser campeão, assim como alguns anos atrás. Então nós acreditamos que esse fator motivacional é, vai ser o fator primordial nessa luta para o José Aldo trazer o cinturão de volta para o Brasil. Dois, vamos. A gente teve 20 dias, né, mais ou menos. É, o Aldo já vinha fazendo quatro rounds normalmente, então, quer dizer, só aumentou um. E o adversário é um adversário que a gente já tinha estudado, né? Então, quer dizer, para a gente não mudou muita coisa, não. Disputar o título é sempre disputar o título, então, quer dizer, a motivação dobrou. A vitória do Aldo, com certeza. Pega! É campeão, então a 
resenha, depois do treino, eu acho que é a melhor parte, né? A gente senta todo mundo, brinca, dança, fica zoando um outro nesse momento, muito bem de contração, acho de todo mundo. Acho que vale mesmo a união da equipe, todo mundo em prol da em busca da vitória. E a gente só vai lá pegar o que é nosso. Flight over is great. Got some sleep on both flights, so life's good, you know. It's just traveling from Hawaii. Wherever we go, it's uh, five hours plus. So I ain't gonna complain, man. This is why we come early. I'm, I'm, mother, I'm a motherfucking Hawaiian. I'm used to do uh, 80 degrees. 50 is gonna be horrible. I sleep with my AC on 70. Cupcake man is uh, being locked down now. Oh, oh, fuck that motherfucker. Fuck this guy. I pay him. <laughs> I pay him to make the blades. After I make the blades, oh, then after. I can go sweet, sweet crazy. I got this new thing. Everybody call this uh, champ life. That's hashtag hard work life. This is hard work, not champ life. I work my ass off for this. Uh, I'm freezing. I gotta show some love. To where they adopted me, my cold brothers. Toronto Raptors, what's up? <laughs>